So we've got our two sets of resistors here and uh, we've got our legend here to show us which is which. Um, the important thing to note when you're doing your zone doubling is the three K's, um, the ones with orange, are going to go for the low side of the zone or the, the lower number of the zone and the other ones for the higher number. So the way you do zone doubling, you're going to take two different zones and land them on one set of terminals, so ground and Z2. And the way it works is your zone 2 will also be your zone 10. And your different value resistor will let you know which, which, is, uh, which device is actually going off. So I'm going to take one of my 3K resistors. Since we're doing our zone 2, I'm going to go with the lower value resistor. I'm going to take my little connector piece. And we're going to go the low side of the zone connected to the resistor. Clamp it down. So we've got our connection. And always resistor to the low side of the zone. or label GND here. And then our high side is going to go to Z2. So we've got our zone 2 connected, ready to do zone 3, which on our list was back windows. So we've got our zone 3, going to cut off our old resistor, connect to our smaller 3K resistor. To our low side. Our connector splice matching our black wire or our low side of the zone to the resistor. Clamp it down. And we're going to connect this to zone three. We can clean these wires up and hold on to our tools. So we're going to land on zone three. Zone three actually shares a common or a low side with zone four. So we have a GND that we're going to land our resistor. And then our high side of our zone. We're going to connect to zone 3. Now 
we've got zone 3 connected. Zone 4 is our French doors. Let's try to find that one. There we go. And again, snipping off our old resistor. Got to strip our wire a little bit. With it stripped, make our connector to our resistor. Again, the smaller 3K value resistor. Connected to our low side of the zone or our black wire. We connect this here, crimp it down, makes our connection nice and tight, and we're going to land this to zone 4. Feed it up and under, and since zone 4 is a shared common with zone 3, we're going to use the same terminal that we have zone 3 connected on. Feed the wire up and in. Uh, let's see here. There we go. We got both our commons for zone three and zone four. And then we're landing zone four to the screw terminal labeled Z4. Nice and tight, good to go. Zone five is our sliding door. And we actually had a sliding door upstairs and a sliding door downstairs. Our old panel did not designate one from the other with their zone descriptions. So we wanna make sure this is our zone nine sliding door. That's not the one we want. We want our downstairs slider, which is zone five, which is right here. It's a double slider, so there's two loops in series, and here we go. We're going to snip off our old resistor. And strip our wire. wire does not want to strip very well. Let's see if we can get this sheath off. Okay. Take our 3K resistor. Quickly using up our 8 here. Again, low side with the resistor. Crimp it down. Got our connection. 
and we've got our two sides of the door connected in series here. We're going to put our zone 5 low side to GND in between zone 5 zone 6. It's going to share a common just like 3 and 4 did. We're going to take our zone 5, land it on the terminal labeled Z5. And good to go on zone 5. Alright, zone 6, we have back bathroom, which is our downstairs bathroom door leading out to the outside. Um, they happen to have run, interestingly enough, their resistor on their red wire um, for their old job, which really doesn't matter. The color is not important. Um, it's more important to have the resistor on the proper terminal that you're landing it to. So we're just going to strip off this red sheath here. And to keep things consistent, we're going to use the black side with our 3K resistor. We have not used any of our high zones yet. We're still on our, our bottom half of our zone doubling. Not until we get up to zone 10 will we start into the zone doubling. So we've got our black and our resistor. Press down. Nice and tight. I'm going to feed this through this mess of wires and we've got our zone 6. So again, we're sharing a common here with zone 5. So you'll have two resistors landed under there, just like we did with 3 and 4, 5 and 6, share a common. Wire it in, and then zone 6. Zone 6 is done. Alright, zone 7 And we have, actually that last one, can't read my writing, that was the back bedroom. So now we are going to do our bathroom downstairs, or bathroom bottom. Zone 7. Oh, take it back. <laughs> I was right the original time. That was our bathroom. So, now we have our zone 7, which is our downstairs bedroom. They've gone back to using the resistor on the black side. Snip off their old resistor. Strip the wire. Get our connector to our resistor down to our last two resistors here for our low 3K bottom half of our zone doubling. Slide in the black wire with the resistor. Crimp down. Nice tight connection. And we're going to land for zone 7. First fish this through. And we're going to go Z7 is going to get our high wire, our, our red wire. And then our GND, or rather our low side is going to go to our GND, which is another shared terminal, zone 8. And we've got zone 7. Okay. With zone 7 up, we're left with zone 8, which is our last bottom half one. And that's our garage door. Let's see if we can locate that one. I think it's this one right here, zone 8. Yep. Cut off our resistor. 
splice our wire. Connect our resistor to our low side, and this is our last 3K resistor. All the rest of our resistors, we're going to use the 6.2s for our, our top half of our zone doubling. So we're essentially halfway there. Get this connected in. Crimp down. And connected. Sharing our ground with our previous zone 7. Feed this up and under. And we're going to land our resistor. Share it along with that one. Nice and tight. And then zone 8. Go into there. So now we've got our zones one through eight, and we are left with six more zones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more zones. And, oh no, I'm sorry, six, six more zones. Our next one is our window upstairs, our master bedroom windows. Let's see if we can locate that one. Okay, this is our window up. Okay, so we've got our zone 10 and this one happens to have come loose when we pulled all our wires out originally. So we're gonna show you here we're going to take one of our connectors. These are our two, two separate loops. Zone 10 is our master bedroom windows. There's two of the windows. And because our original installation or original installer home run each contact, we're going to run them in, in series. So we're going to match black and red. Crimp that down. So now we're left with a red and then our old resistor, which we're going to cut off. Strip the wire. And this is going to be our first zone double. We're going to take our 6.2K resistor, land it in series along with our black wire. and then crimp it down. Okay, that's connected. And this is the tricky part. So, we've got our eight zones. We've run out of zones on the panel. You can add a 4219 zone expansion board if you would like, or you're going to zone double, which is what we've been setting up for. So zone 2 is also going to be zone 10. Our zone 2 is already connected with our low, low 3 point, or rather 3K resistor. So all we do is run our zones in parallel using the same exist, existing zones. So our zone 2 was a ground and a Z2. So we're going to slide this resistor up in parallel along with our zone 2 resistor. They both fit underneath, screw it down, and then we take our positive side and where we only had one wire for each positive, we're now going to land a second positive wire. So we've just added zone 10 in there along with zone 2 and when the master bedroom windows go off, the system will see that the 6.2 resistor value changed, know that it was that zone. So it's a handy way to be able to use additional zones on the panel. 
So we've got zone 10. Now we've got zone 11, which is labeled bath up, um, which is this one. Cut off our resistor. Strip our wire. Connect our black wire to our 6.2K resistor. Crimp it down. And same idea as before. Wires, are, terminals are starting to fill up here, but we've got zone three is now gonna be our zone, zone 12 also. We've already got two resistors under the GND because we shared a resistor with four. So we're gonna actually have a total of four in there now. Uh, right now it's three, that'll be our third. And we're gonna share the Z3 and we're gonna run zone 12 in parallel. Oops, three came out, that's okay. We're just gonna push them back both up in parallel. Oops. Getting a little trickier here as we get more wires. It's gotta be a little more dexterous. Got it under there. Screw it down nice and tight. So you can see, well, maybe you can't, but there are three resistors under there. One for zone three, one for zone four, and now one for zone 12. Zone 13 is our bedroom. Did I skip some? Zone 12, zone 12 is what we're on. 12, oh nine. Zone two, zone three. Zone three, zone four. So zone four matches. Two is ten, three is eleven, four is twelve. So in my haste to connect these, because zone one doesn't share, because it's set up as a fire, you can't zone double zone one, I forgot a zone nine, which would have been shared with one. So we're just gonna use zone nine here and connect it in with zone four, which would end up being a shared zone 12. So I've probably been saying the wrong numbers and uh, we can certainly once we get everything connected, fix our zone list. We haven't programmed anything yet, so it's really not relevant which zone is where, as long as we understand. So, important part is snip off the old resistor, strip our wire, get our wire connected to our resistor, 6.2K resistor. We've got our black wire connected to our resistor with our little beanie connector. Oh, and I missed on that one. I snip my resistor. Luckily I have plenty of beanies here. Try that again. Feed the wire up and in. We're gonna use the longer side here. Get a nice tight connection. This time making sure that both wires are up and in there. Connect it in. So, this is our master bedroom sliding doors. And there's again, it's the double slider. 
You have two loops run in series. We're going to land our negative. It's going to be shared in with this one that we've been working on, this ground in between zone three and zone four. I'm going to slide it up in there with those. So this is actually our fourth resistor on this one to, to show how these two zones are actually used along with four zones, hence the doubling. And our Z4, we're going to run in parallel here, which, oh, our wire just broke here. Let's strip that down a little bit, get a little more copper connector. Try that again. Okay, a piece of wire fell out. Push that back up and in. Twist it down. So we've got our zone four shared with our zone 12. Two, 10, so zone two and 10, zone three and 11, zone four and 12. That leaves us with still needing to double some more. So we've got 12. I'm sorry, take that back. So zone two is shared with zone nine, zone three is with 10, zone four is with 11, and zone five is gonna be with 12. Cut off our resistor, strip our wire, connect in our new resistor, 6.2K, value clamp it down mm, missed So we're gonna strip our wire, get our connector. Oops. Making sure that both wires are as deep as possible in there and Clamp it down nice and tight. And so we are sharing our zone five here. This is zone 12, five and 12 is the zone pair, the zone doubling pair. Feed this wire up and in. And five is sharing the ground with Z6. So we're gonna land our resistor under the GND terminal in between Z5 and Z6. And again, we've already got two under there for five and six. This is gonna be our third. And our zone 13, once we get to there, is also gonna go under there. For now, we're gonna land our zone 12 in parallel with our Z5. Get it nice and tight into there and clamp it down screw it down. So we're almost done. We've got six and seven that need to be doubled. We've got our zone 13, which is going to go with six and our zone 14, which is going to go with seven. Snip our resistor, strip our wire, Connect our black side of our zone. With our resistor, 6.2K value. Oh, drop my beanie connector. I still have a few more here, so 
no worries. Feed our black in here, along with our resistor. Clamp it down. Making sure it's nice and tight, which it is. And we are going to be putting our fourth resistor up under this GND in between Z5 and Z6, which is reflecting our zone 5, our zone 6, our zone 12, and now finally our zone 13. And these screw terminals are designed to take multiple wires. Just make sure they're nice and tight. And then our positive side, we're going to run in parallel along with our matching zone 6 for our zone doubling pair of 6 and 13. Okay, nice and tight. And finally, we have our zone 14. This is an upstairs bedroom that wasn't labeled, it was just labeled straight zone 14. We're going to be able to show you uh, with the Honeywell system, we're going to name it upstairs bedroom. But this is going to be sharing with zone 7 for our final zone, which is zone 14. We do have room, if we had an additional zone, to do one more, a zone 15. But since this system didn't have a zone 15, we're not going to share anything with zone 8. So zone 8 will live by itself. So we feed our resistor in with our low side of our zone or our black wire. We clamp down. And we are going to share zone 7 and 8, share a common this GND terminal in between Z8 and Z7. So that's why there's already two in there, our zone 7 and our zone 8. And now we're going to slot in our zone 14. And then lastly, our zone 7, we're going to run in parallel with our last zone 14 red wire. And we have now connected all of our zones. So to recap, oh, and I got a loose one. Always good to check your connections when you're done. Let's go ahead and tighten that in. Perhaps I need to move this wire a little over to the other side. You want to make sure these connections are good, otherwise you're troubleshooting. Once you power up, you'll have zone faults. So let's make sure we got this right in advance. Of course, these wires with all of these connectors in here, it's a little bit harder to work with. But if we loosen up our wire, it gives us a little bit of room to slide it in. And then nice and tight. And if we just give a quick little tug, we want to make sure that we don't have any loose connections. And we do not. So we're good to go now. So to recap, zone one is to Z1 plus, Z1 negative. We only have one zone there and we're using our 2K resistor, which is our standard resistor. Zone one again is set up as a fire zone, so acts a little different than the rest of the zones. We have no fire on this panel, but you cannot zone double on zone one, so we are not using anything but one zone there. Zone two, we are running two zones in parallel, zone two and zone nine. You're landing your low side of your zone with two different resistor values, one 3, 3K, one 6.2K. 
It's always the lower value of the resistor matches the low zone pairing. So two and nine pair, two gets the 3K, nine gets the 6.2K resistor. You run your high side or your red wire in parallel on the Z2 terminal. Z3 shares with 10, so we've got Z3 and Z10 positive wires run in parallel sharing the terminal screw labeled Z3 and then we've got our 3K resistor matching with our zone 3 on the black wire, the low side. We've got our 6.2K resistor shared with our zone 10 um, black wire under there. This GND, our common terminal here, or our low side of our terminal for zone 3 is also for zone 4. So 4 shares with 11. So we've got Z4 and Z11 wires, high side, run in parallel. Um, here on our Z4, we've got our 3 point, or our 3K resistor matched with zone 4. Our 6.2K resistor matched with zone 11. Next one over, we have Z5 and Z12. We have our 3K resistor with our zone 5, our 6.2K resistor matched with our zone 12. Next one over is Z6. We have Z6, uh, zone 6 and zone 13 run in parallel to Z6. And we've got our 3K matched with our zone 6 and our 6.2K resistor matched with our zone 13. Finally, or, or getting close to finally, we have zone 7 matched with zone 14, run in parallel to Z7. We've got our 3K matched with our zone 7, 3K resistor on the low side under the GND terminal, our 6.2K low side matched with our zone 14, um, which is giving us 7 and 14 here. And then finally zone 8, because we do not have a zone 15, is our last connection there, um, run together just one, one zone on zone 8. Fit all these wires in and we'll get our panel door and pretty much we're good to go at the panel. We do still need to add our GSM which we'll show in a minute. Um, attach our battery, power up, but that's after um, we go get our GSM board. So for now that's our quick lesson on zone doubling. If you guys have any questions please let us know. Uh, leave a comment in the section below because zone doubling can be tricky. Of course, you can always give us a call, 888-818-7728. We will be back to show you adding the Snap-on Vista-GSM V4G, um, or Vista, I'm sorry, Vista-GSM 4G Snap-on cellular card that goes right here. So we'll be back in a bit.